So what are we doing? Changing the coil. Do you need me down there? Where's the coil? Touch it. Oh, that square thing. Okay. Uh oh. So you have a magnet. That works. Yeah, I just dropped a bolt. Okay, want me to get it? To get this out here, this piece here. We have to loosen this bolts and get this piece here out because it's over top of this. So we got this bolt out. And now we're trying to get this. Out. What's that? I'm talking to the thing on top looks like skeleton teeth, that white thing. What's what is that? what is that white thing on top? It looks like skeleton teeth. Oh, it holds some cables. Oh, it's a cable holder. Okay. That makes sense. The new one looks awesome. What made you think the coil's bad? Well, what I did is I pulled the wire, the coil wire up, and I cranked the engine over. And it just didn't seem like I had a beautiful blue spark. Uh -oh. So it didn't have the spark that you needed. Well, it had a nice spark, but it wasn't... Should be beautiful blue. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll go in there like that. Awesome. Fits perfect. Oh, no it don't. Yeah, it does. I didn't think the screw holes were lining up. Oh, yeah, they line up perfect. Oh, okay. Good. But what I want to do... Maybe you could go into the garage for me. Okay. And get what? Something sandpaper to... I want to clean all these and all this. Okay. You know, in case it needs to be grounded. Okay. So we're going to clean it. So where, what store did you buy that in? This came from AutoZone. AutoZone, okay. Which I don't really trust, but... So a nice blue spark is important. That's what lights your fuel on fire. Lights your fuel on fire, huh? Blue. Blue's hotter. Right? Blue's hot, yeah. Big Blue's fat hot. blue spark. Newer technology, what they do is they use, that's smaller than this. Okay. But they use a coil pack over every spark plug. And because our RV is a 95, you can't use the newer technology. You got to go. No. With, no. No. What's that? Why do you not use the newer? Well, because just the way the spark plugs are arranged. Okay, so this has to do with the spark plugs. This coil. Yep. Okay, and so we'll change the spark plugs next. Right. And we'll pull one out and see what it looks like. Okay. So why did they change the technology? It just works it's better. better. It's better. Okay. <clears throat> and probably easier to change the coil. See, this one here has to fire a spark eight times every two revolutions. Okay. And how this long thing is fires all eight spark plugs? This one single coil. And how long does it take for it to revolute? A revolution. Well, if the tachometer is sitting there at a thousand RPMs. It's firing 500 times a minute. Okay. That's okay. awesome. Okay. Because mm -hmm. it, it only fires every two revolutions. Okay. That's what a four-stroke engine is all about. Oh, gotcha. So. Now, on the newer cars, if they use coil packs for each spark plug, that thing only has to fire once. Not eight t like on a V8, not eight times every two revolutions. Well, if it only has to fire once, what, how big's the engine? <laughs> I 
I see it slips underneath that other thing. Looks like it's in place, got it on the bolts. What's this? Looks like you got it on the bolts. Yeah. Looks good. Wire ties. Yeah, I just want to get on the side of my road here. Yeah. On there with a new washer because we lost the other one. And I'm getting ready to get this one started. And those are the only two bolts. Here's where the other bolt goes. Right down there. Got it started. That one was wrong. And then we can see that new one down there. So now we'll tighten them up. Lift this. Lift that. There it is. Now we gotta get... forgot the condenser. And so we had to take the bolt back off. This thing here is the condenser. So we're going to stick it right back on there, and then we will put on our washer and bolt now. Now we're good. We've got the condenser on. The condenser. Okay, now we've got to come over here. And my little hands work better, so we're going to tighten this bolt that we loosened. It's loose, so I will get that tight. And I'll use this ratchet. Okay, next, we're going to take this coil and plug it back in. So I'm going down underneath this, and um, it plugs in right here, if you can see. Right there on that thing. That's the coil. Well, that's the where you connect it. And I need to watch what I'm doing. And it snaps right in there. So what again? It snapped right in. Okay. So we're connected. Okay, what's next? All right, we connected these two wires to these teeth, and we will wire tire them together again. And this piece comes right up here, and then we'll put a bolt in here to hold that in place. And it's looking good, guys.